So here's collisions level, collisions level 10. I'm gonna walk you through number, level 10 and 11. And after you have 10 and 11 done, you should have enough information to complete the rest of the levels. It's important that you remember your concepts in chemistry when you do these collision games, because they come back into play. Stuff like electronegativity and atomic radius are both important. So the first thing you gotta do is figure out how we're gonna fill in this table. And before we do this, we have to first generate an electron so that we can make a negative ion. So we wanna look at the atom, look for the atom that's up here that would be easiest to create a positive, a positive ion. And remember that the closer the electrons are to the nucleus, the more difficult they are to remove. So here we gotta find something that has one valence electron and we have lithium has one valence electron. I'll put it out here so you can see it. Sodium also has one valence electron, all right? Of these two, you need to figure out which one would be the easiest to remove its outside electron. And that's gonna be sodium because sodium has its valence electron further from the nucleus. So just think about the nucleus as having an attraction to its unshared electrons or its, its electrons, its valence electrons. And the further away those electrons are, the harder, the easier it is to remove them, okay? Like a long distance relationship. The further they are away, the easier they are to still. So of these two, we're gonna choose sodium to make our positive ion first because we don't wanna use up a bunch of our ionization energy. So let's go ahead and put lithium back and let's go ahead and remove the one electron from sodium, okay? So once we've removed the one electron from sodium, sodium is now positive one. Now the same thing, it's it's kind of similar for our negative ions, um, but we it's it, you don't have as many choices in this case. So here we have fluorine. Fluorine has seven valence electrons. And here we have chlorine, and chlorine has seven valence electrons as well. So we need to figure out how we're going to make this negative ion. So what we can do is we can put over there, we gain four units of energy. Let's take it off, see what happens. Okay, and if we put it into chlorine, how much energy do we gain? Four units, so it really doesn't matter in this case. So we're gonna go ahead and put chlorine right here because it is now negative one. All right. We re release four units of energy. So now we have 30 to work with. And now we have to make a positive two ion. And of the choices that we have up here, we don't have, the only choice that works is the one that has two valence electrons and that's magnesium. So we have to remove these two electrons from magnesium. Once we have our magnesium made, We then need to go and figure out which one's gonna be negative two. And of our choices, we have fluorine and sulfur. Which one's gonna be negative two? Well, the one that gains two electrons. It's gonna be sulfur is gonna be negative two, not fluorine because it only has to gain one valence electron. So then we're gonna take these two electrons and we're gonna put it into fluorine. Sulfur, excuse me, we're gonna put it into sulfur. All right, so there's level 10. Let's take a look. So here is level 11. And in order to do a level 11, we have to still figure out that same process in creating our ions. So let's figure out which of the negative ions will be easiest to make. We're gonna find some that we can compare. So uh, first of all, we wanna, actually we're gonna create the positive one first because we need to remove valence electrons. So let's look at the positive ones that we can create. So we have here, we have uh, lithium. Uh, what other ones do we have choices for? Let's see. Here we have potassium. Okay. I'm looking for ones that have one valence electron. And that's it. Those are my two choices. Which of these two would be easiest to create valent, uh, to create ions with? If we look at lithium, its valence electrons are closer to the nucleus than the valence electrons of potassium. So it's going to be easier to remove this valence electron from potassium. So let's go ahead and put lithium back. I like putting my positive ones on the right because they come first, but it doesn't matter. We remove this one electron and we've created our positive, our positive one ion. So that's gonna go in this place right here.
Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create our negative one ion. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create our negative ion. And we need to create a negative ion without using a bunch of energy. Actually, we need to gain energy. And so to do that, we're going to go ahead and, go and create the chlorine ion. So we'll take that electron and put it right there. Once we have our chlorine ion made, we can put it into this. Okay, now the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a positive two ion in order to generate two electrons to create our negative two ion. So we need to figure out which of these atoms will be easiest to turn into ions, and these atoms need to each have two valence electrons. So we look at beryllium. Beryllium has two valence electrons. It's in the second column on your periodic table. And the other choice we have is way over here, we have calcium, and calcium is much larger than Beryllium. So these electrons for calcium are going to be easier to remove because they're further away from the nucleus. So as we try to remove these electrons, let's see what happens. That was pretty easy to remove. We still have 16 units of energy remaining. We've generated one electron. Let's try this one. Oh, this is this is the key. So we've generated, uh, we've, we've used up a bunch of energy. We only have four units of energy remaining. What's the charge of this ion going to be? It's going to be positive two because it lost two valence electrons. It's going to go on that, comp, that chart right there. All right, we can go ahead and put this one back. And the last thing we need to do is create this negative two ion. So to do that, we need to figure out which of these remaining atoms can become negative two. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, atoms that have six valence electrons. So let's look at sulfur and let's look at phosphorus. Does phosphorus have six? Actually, no, phosphorus has five. What else do we have? That's it. That's our only choices. So we need to take these two electrons. We need to go ahead and put them in there. That one and, and there we go. There's our negative two. All right, so keeping those concepts in mind, that's what you need to do to com complete levels 12 through 15.